Therefore, we come not to criticize your religious institutions or conventions, but only to illustrate how they can be used against you. We are not here to replace them, or to deny them, but to show how true integrity must pervade these institutions and conventions in order for them to serve you in a genuine way. In the greater community, spirituality is embodied in what we call knowledge, knowledge meaning the intelligence of spirit, and the movement of spirit within you. This empowers you to know, rather than only believe. This gives you immunity from persuasion and manipulation, for knowledge cannot be manipulated by any worldly power or force. This gives life to your religions and hope for your destiny. We hold true to these ideas, for they are fundamental. They are lacking in the collectives, however, and should you encounter the collectives, or even their presence, and have the power, to maintain your own mind, you will see this for yourself. We are told, that there are many people in the world who wish to give themselves over, to give themselves away to a greater power in life. This is not unique to the world of humanity, but in the greater community such an approach leads to enslavement. We understand that in your own world, before the visitors were here in such numbers, such an approach often led to enslavement. But in the greater community, you are more vulnerable, and must be wiser, more careful and more self-sufficient. Recklessness here brings with it a heavy price and great misfortune. If you can respond to knowledge, and learn a greater community way of knowledge, you will be able to see these things for yourself. Then you will confirm our words, rather than only believe them or deny them. The Creator is making this possible, for the Creator wills that humanity prepare for its future. That is why we have come. That is why we are watching, and now have the opportunity, to report what we see. The religious traditions of the world, speak well few in their essential teachings. We have had the opportunity, to learn about them from the unseen ones, but they also represent a potential weakness. If humanity were more vigilant, and understood the realities of life in the greater community, and the meaning of premature visitation, your risks would not be so great as they are today. There is hope, and expectation that such visitation will bring great rewards, and will be a fulfillment for you. Yet you have not been able to learn of the reality of the greater community, or of the powerful forces that are interacting with your world. Your lack of understanding and premature trust in the visitors, do not serve you. It is for this reason, that the wise throughout the greater community remain hidden. They do not seek commerce in the greater community. They do not seek to be part of guilds or trading cooperatives. They do not seek diplomacy with many worlds. Their network of allegiance is more mysterious, more spiritual in nature. They understand the risks and the difficulties of exposure to the realities of life in the physical universe. They maintain their insulation, and they remain vigilant at their borders. They only seek to extend their wisdom through means that are less physical in nature. In your own world, perhaps, you can see this expressed in those who are the wisest, the most gifted, who do not seek personal advantage through commercial avenues, and who are not given to conquest and manipulation. Your own world tells you so much. Your own history tells you so much and illustrates, though on a smaller scale, everything that we are presenting to you here. Thus, it is our intention, not only to warn you of the gravity of your situation, but to provide you, if we can, a greater perception and understanding of life, which you will need. And we trust, that there will be enough who can hear these words, and respond to the greatness of knowledge. We hope there will be those who can recognize, that our messages are not here to evoke fear and panic, but to engender responsibility and a commitment to the preservation of freedom and good within your world. If humanity should fail in opposing the intervention, we can paint a picture of what this would mean. We have seen it elsewhere, for each one of us came very close, within our own worlds. Being part of a collective, the planet Earth will be mined for its resources, its people will be corralled to work, and its rebels and heretics will be either alienated or destroyed. The world will be preserved for its agriculture and its mining interests. Human societies will exist but only in subordination to powers from beyond your world. And should the world exhaust its usefulness, should its resources be completely taken, then you will be left, bereft. The supportive life upon your world, will have been taken from you, the very means of survival will have been stolen. This has happened before in many other places. In the case of this world, the collectives may choose to preserve the world for ongoing use as a strategic post, and as a biological storehouse. 
Yet human population would suffer terribly under such oppressive rule. The population of humanity would be reduced. The management of humanity would be given to those who are bred to lead the human race within a new order. Human freedom as you know it would no longer exist, and you would suffer under the weight of foreign rule, a rule that would be harsh and exacting. There are many collectives in the greater community. Some of them are large, some of them are small, some of them are more ethical in their tactics, many are not. To the extent that they compete with one another for opportunities, such as the rule of your world, dangerous activities can be perpetrated. We must give this illustration, so that you will have no doubt as to what we are saying. The choices before you are very limited, but very fundamental. Therefore, understand that from your visitor's perspective, you are all tribes that need to be managed and controlled in order to serve the visitor's interests. For this, your religions and a certain degree of your social reality will be preserved. But you will lose much, and much will be lost before you realize what has been taken from you. Therefore, we can only advocate a vigilance, a responsibility and a commitment, to learn to learn about life in the greater community, to learn how to preserve your own culture, and your own reality within a greater environment, and to learn how to see who is here to serve you, and distinguish them from those who are not. This greater discernment is so needed in the world, even for the resolution of your own difficulties. But regarding your survival and well-being in the greater community, it is absolutely fundamental. Therefore, we encourage you to take heart. We have more to share with you. Fifth Briefing Threshold A New Promise for Humanity In order to prepare for the alien presence that is in the world, it is necessary to learn more about life in the greater community, life that will envelop your world in the future, life that you will be a part of. Humanity's destiny was always to emerge into a greater community of intelligent life. This is inevitable and occurs in all worlds where intelligent life has been seeded and has developed. Eventually, you would have come to realize that you lived within a greater community. And, eventually, you would have found that you were not alone in your own world, that visitation was occurring, and that you would have to learn to contend with divergent races, forces, beliefs and attitudes that are prevalent in the greater community in which you live. Emerging into the greater community is your destiny. Your isolation is now over. Though your world has been visited many times in the past, your isolated state has come to an end. Now it is necessary for you to realize that you are no longer alone in the universe or even within your own world. This understanding is presented more fully in the teaching in greater community spirituality that is being presented in the world today. Our role here is to describe life as it exists in the greater community, so that you may have a deeper understanding of the greater panorama of life into which you are emerging. This is necessary in order for you to be able to approach this new reality with greater objectivity, understanding, and wisdom. Humanity has lived in relative isolation for so long, that it is natural for you to consider that the rest of the universe functions according to the ideas, principles and science that you hold sacred, and upon which you base your activities and your perceptions of the world. The greater community is vast. Its furthest reaches have never been explored. It is greater than any race can comprehend. Within this magnificent creation, intelligent life exists at all levels of evolution and in countless expressions. Your world exists in a part of the greater community that is fairly well inhabited. There are many areas of the greater community that have never been explored, and other areas where races live in secret.